What's up folks? Just got done with an enshrouded multiplayer session and I'm rolling right off of that to, to cover the official roadmap post that they just put out on their Steam page. And honestly, it's pretty impressive. Uh, what they've done already has been very impressive, but this roadmap is pretty cool. We're looking forward to it. Um, if you haven't been paying attention, uh, we traditionally will stream our multiplayer sessions on Saturdays and Sundays at around noon central. We usually play for two or three hours. The people that are playing enshrouded together are part of our core World of Warcraft gaming community, um, who we play together uh, on the Moonguard server with, and we also are going out and playing other crafting survival games, co-op games, and Shrouded right now. We're going to be playing Dune Awakening next uh, up at some point. Um, also keeping an eye on other crafting survival co-op stuff as they come available, um, and weaving that into what we're doing with our uh, primary stuff with World of Warcraft. So if you want more of this, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams here and on Twitch play a lot of different games so you can check out all the playlists down below there's a discord there's a patreon you guys know what to do without further ado let's go ahead and just dive into this road map here and take a look greetings flameborn this was published on march 13th by the way so yesterday i've been waiting well i don't know when this is airing so whenever this was airing this 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 was uh posted on the 13th you've been waiting patiently for weeks now eagerly wondering what's next for enshrouded We've been playing it very safe. On the one hand, we have big ambitions and loads of ideas, but on the other hand, it's a brand new game, and some of the things we might want to do might turn out to be more difficult than we could anticipate. So, it's a push and pull of wanting to keep you interested without over-processing on our capacity to deliver. That's good. Scope creep is important to pay attention to. We've got a roadmap that we think will interest folks. Um, for those of you who have shared your feedback on feature upvote, some of the things might look familiar. Um, so, your feedback and your vision have helped us keep the games... Uh, updates aligned pretty closely, which is pretty cool. You can also look into the feature upvote feature if you haven't yet. I've said that twice. Um, all right, let's check this out. It said, remember that a roadmap is a living and breathing thing. It will change as we develop the game and things turn out to be either harder or easier to implement than we originally thought. So that's all well and good. Typical stuff, nothing to worry about here. Um, early access roadmap 2024. These are things, how can I, um, can I, it won't let me um, open image in new tab perhaps. There we go. Now I can scroll it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, let's take a look here. Hollow Hall Dungeons, location improvements, multiple MC, I'll go across the top. So Hollow Hall Dungeons, Steam Deck support, performance improvements, which is going to be a big thing. Smoother high PS gameplay, please. Location improvements, awesome. Improved loot UI, workshops, better, st better stack splitting, improved post-processing. Sitting on furniture would be awesome. Thank you very much. A reassignable glider shortcut. Multiple NPC instances. More trees to grow, round doors and windows. Oh, Hobbit homes, Hobbit homes. People are asking for Hobbit homes, ladies and gentlemen. That's what round doors and windows are for. That's Hobbit homes right there. Potted plants, building materials, replayable world quests, better quest sorting, server gameplay settings, server user rights, town folk against PCs. Ooh, that's interesting. A vanity system. Oh, customizable. Oh, baby. A vanity system. So now we can start to transmog our outfits and everything else i'm down for that editable signs musical instruments <gasps> musical instruments townsfolk pets animal farming oh animal farming would be awesome enemy patrols that's really cool a weather system is pretty awesome mountains biome which we don't have yet portals to other servers that's groovy Nameable bases, nameable map locations, multiplayer pings. The multiplayer pings would be a big thing because there's been a lot of times where we've been like, hey, we found this mine over here. Where's it at? Uh, do you see it west of this place over here? The multiplayer pings really come in handy um, so that you can see everything. I know when I was playing Diablo 4 with, with Gila, um, it was always there. So something to keep in mind. Name tombstones, new enemies and bosses, fixes and polish. And it says, here's a glimpse of some other major features coming later this year in our early access. So these are things that are already on the table, I'm assuming. assuming. Sharing and visiting the bases, creating and sharing gameplay experiences, world events, instanced dungeons, more biomes, and water. So I gotta say, folks, um, I've already sort of been talking about Enshrouded for a while now, um, and we've put, I don't know, like, uh, I feel like... I've put something like 40 videos into the playlist now. Um, we've been really enjoying this game. It says here to celebrate this moment, it's occasion and will be part of the Steam Spring Sale with the game's first discount starting on March 14th and ending March 21st. Oh, um, 
And when is the update happening? Uh, there's an update happening this month. Keep your eye on the Shroud Tavern. Maybe we see her around the Hall of Halls. So that's really cool to know. So there's an update coming in March, and it's on sale until the 21st. So if you haven't picked up a copy yet and you want to get in, now would be the time because it's going to be on sale for the, this recording, essentially, because I'm recording on the 14th onwards. So now is the perfect time to get your copy, everybody. Um, I really like Enshrouded. It's a good game, everybody, if you haven't jumped on it. I originally started playing this solo, and liked it enough that I asked if anybody wanted to do some multiplayer stuff, uh, some co-op stuff, and that started off with a couple people, which grew to six people, and now, like I said, it's eight or ten people now, I think. Um, and it's it's pretty funny to see now that we've gone to the 24/7 server. There's a lot more action happening than just on the weekends, just in the two sessions. So I think it's really cool because, like, when I logged in today to help out with the spindle quest, um, they had dug a basement. They had but you know, moved all the chests downstairs, uh, taken over a building way north as an outpost with one of our camps, built an outpost over in another section, um, stockpiled like 500 um, copper bars and a bunch of uh, like a thousand uh, charcoals, I think. So there's been a lot of harvesting and crafting going on in between the major questing sessions, which has been really awesome. So I would I would urge you, if you haven't checked out Enshrouded yet, um, it is an early access title, so bearing that in mind, there are some performance issues here and there, um, especially on older hardware like what I run, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, when I'm playing, just playing, I don't really notice anything, but when I'm streaming and I'm playing with Streamlabs running at the same time, since I'm on an older graphics card, it does tend to occasionally hitch because there's some, you know, there's just things that have, that, that, and that's on their list, like polish and, and performance updates are all on their list, optimization, so it's not a big deal. Um, it plays very smoothly. I love the instantaneous switching between controller and mouse and keyboard. Um, I'll use mouse and keyboard for a lot of my crafting, but controller, I'm just out there rolling around, ducking, tumbling. I really love how the controller plays uh, with this game. It's been a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely been something that's sort of like a hidden gem for us because we were sort of, it just kind of, you know, stumbled across this. I wasn't really interested in this game up until I saw, I can't remember who it was, it was, a couple of people started talking about it and it had been out for a while. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and give this a shot and see what I think. And when I found out that there was a pretty cool RPG system here with the the, the skill trees and everything else. And it's mostly just a crafting, crafting and questing RPG. The survival element is mostly there just to provide buffs and stuff. So it's not a hardcore, like you're going to die if you don't eat... Um, food and water so those kind of things to me were very appealing because it had a very chill relaxed environment and on top of that it's like you can build do you see like, like hobbit holes guys like they're bringing round doors and windows and all these additional ways to make your structures your npcs your character look even cooler this game is going to be going big places over the rest of 2024 so if you're not on their train now you totally should be um i think it's worth the time and the money um i'm not sponsored by them anyway although if they reach out i'd be happy to talk about it uh, but we are enjoying the game as a community and i think it's something you might enjoy as well so go ahead and check out our streams and videos there's a playlist down below with tons of entries into this series so far and there will be more as we continue to play like i said right now we're just sort of filling in the gap between world of warcraft content and we're doing something fun together we'll be doing things later on in the year like you know we're looking at dune awakening i say later on in the year i have no idea when it's coming out we're hoping it's this year but dune awakening is we've got our eye on that other co-op games we're definitely going to be trying out like the EQ, the latest EQ2 P, uh, TLE server in June or July, whenever that happens, on top of the things we're already doing with World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft Classic, so on and so forth. And of course, anytime we see a, a little co-op game that we can play together as a community, it's not the whole community. We have 100 plus people in World of Warcraft. This is a core group of, you know, 10 people and that it will kind of rotate between what we're playing in between the major sessions. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update simple i stream daily between here and twitch there's a discord there's a patreon links are all down there see you guys next time stay safe thanks for listening to me ramble cheers